Assalamualaikum and hello there. I am Dr. Muhammad Zahri bin Abdul Aziz, lecturer and medical physicist from Advanced Medical and Dental Institute, University of Science Malaysia. Today we will talk about brachytherapy, a special cancer treatment using radiation sources. We will be looking into why precision is important in brachytherapy treatment. So stay with us for a detailed breakdown. What is brachytherapy? It is like placing a tiny radiation source near to the cancer cell. But why does precision matter? This is because the radiation used in brachytherapy can both kill cancer cells and also cause a side effects to healthy tissue. Consider it is a target mission in which we must ensure that there is enough radiation to kill the cancer cell while minimizing the dose to healthy tissue. In brachytherapy, we use detailed image from CT scan or MRI to determine the exact location of the cancer, allowing us to develop a precise treatment plan. These images will give us a detailed view of the cancer helping us to plan where to deliver the treatment exactly. Precision is also important to make sure we hit the right spot and avoid the unnecessary side effects. Now, let us talk about treatment itself. Placing those tiny radiation source in the right spot in the tumor cell is very crucial. It's like putting pieces of puzzle together ensuring we are targeting the cancer without affecting healthy area nearby. Failure to do so will result in insufficient radiation dose to cancer cells, leading to the recurrence of cancer. Besides that, overdose of radiation can harm nearby healthy tissue, causing long-term complications, organ damage, and increase the risk of secondary cancer. Proper dose calculation and optimization of the radiation dose are crucial to effectively destroy cancer cells while minimizing the risk of healthy tissues. Technically, technology plays an important role in current brachytherapy practice. Computers help us in plan everything and provide real-time updates throughout treatment. It's like having a high-tech guide to keep things on track. In brachytherapy, the treatment planning system or TPS help us in determining the best placement and strength of the radiation source of the tumor. This TPS represents a significant advancement in brachytherapy over previous manual calculation. Why should we care about the precision? With the precision, the entire process will be more comfortable with a fewer side effects and faster recovery to the patient and that are the goals that we wanted to achieve. But some issue also exists in current TPS calculation. In homogeneous model used in brachytherapy TPS, assume everything is uniform and it is inaccurate particularly when dealing with different tissue. In homogeneous tissue also complicate those calculations further and causing less accuracy in the calculation. Complex radiation source with detailed configuration will add more complexity and then leading to uncertainties to the dose calculation. In a nutshell, there are a lot of improvement should be done for this model to correctly estimate the radiation dose. Looking ahead, we anticipate that AI and machine learning will contribute to image processing, pretreatment assistance, and dose calculation in improving brachytherapy dose delivery. It is not about placing the source correctly, but it is also to ensure that the correct dose reach the intended target while protecting the nearby healthy organs. In brachytherapy, where precision is critical, quality assurance and quality control acts as a accuracy monitors. Here, QA and QC involve in verification and validation of radiation dose 
to ensure treatment accuracy. Radiation measurement are carried out using variety of tools, equipment and semiconductor dosimeter. This includes ionization chambers, scintillation detectors, solid state detectors, polymer gel dosimeters, radiochromic films, thermoluminescent dosimeter and optical stimulated dosimeters. Every dosimeter has its own role in brachytherapy verification. TLD as a radiation dosimeter can be in a cylindrical rods or flat chips of lithium fluoride crystal. It must be exposed to a specific radiation dose before it can be used to measure a dose. This exposure will provide an information for establishment of a calibration curve. This curve is very useful for determining the relationship between thermoluminescence and absorbed dose. Optical stimulated luminescence dosimeter or we know as OSL are used in radiation monitoring make of semiconductor crystal such as aluminium oxide. When semiconductor dosimeter are exposed to ionizing radiation from brachytherapy source Electron become trapped in the crystal and cause defect or impurities. After radiation exposure, the OSL dosimeter undergoes a reading process when stimulated by light source. During simulation, trapped electron release absorb energy as luminescence, allowing us to measure and interpret the amount of radiation of the dosimeter that is exposed and it is as simple as that. So what is on the horizon? We are taking about treatment that fit perfectly to the patient, just like a well-fitted suit. For future of brachytherapy, it is all about making things better for both patient and medical professional. Novel semiconductor material for dosimeters integration with IoT and AI for the dosimetry system, 2D or 3D dosimeter system, and automatic dose calculation system are all the potential future research direction. Brachytherapy Future will rely on a multidisciplinary research team of electrical engineers, software developers, chemists, and other experts to create a new tools and dosimeter for quality assurance and control purposes. As a result, patient can expect a reliable and secure treatment experience. In a nutshell, precision in brachytherapy is like making sure we are hitting the bullseye without any unnecessary trouble. It is about giving the best care possible to the treatment. With that, I would like to appreciate for your attention and I hope the discussion has provided you with deeper understanding on brachytherapy. Thank you very much and bye-bye.